In this video, you will learn how to use this 100% free model to convert Kim Palm ratings into a college basketball score prediction model. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. I have another sports betting video for you. Link in the description to what I have here, so if you wanna pull that up and follow along. What I'm gonna be walking through today is how to take Kim Palm ratings from Kim Palm's website and be able to convert these ratings into a simulated matchup score. So we'll be able to look at a win percentage, the total for the over under, and then a spread value as well. So this, hopefully you find this really helpful to be able to have a baseline to be able to predict score outputs for college basketball. And uh, I'll just start by saying, uh, definitely go over to Kim Palm uh, and sign up for his full service where he'll have the each day matchup for every game he'll do the prediction for you so what i'm going to do is just provide a little bit of context of how i'm interpreting how he gets these numbers and for you to be able to have the math and be able to to create predictions yourself but for about 20 dollars a year you can get access to his full website with a bunch of different statistics and get the daily output of simulated score. So I would highly encourage you to sign up for his service. Um, I, I currently subscribe and that's how I'm able to, to show these prediction values here. Um, like I said, it's about $20 a year, highly recommend it. And so what I'm trying to do today is just provide a little color of uh, how you can back into those numbers. They're not going to be exactly what he's going to have in his website, but it's going to get you really close. And it's just a way to have to be able to create a, a score output that's going to have your win percentage, the totals for each team, that'll get you your over under value and then your spread. So uh, I think this is just nice to have um, in case you want to do some analysis yourself or just do a one off matchup and be able to have a, a score and a win percentage and you can convert that into um, a money line bet or a spread or over under. So that's what we're going to be walking through. So I'll just talk about what I have set up here, some high level assumptions. So I have a home court advantage adjustments. This will, will apply to the away and home team and then the average tempo for every NCAA basketball team and the average adjusted offense for every college basketball team. So these numbers are all coming from Kim Palm's ratings. Everything here is coming from Kim Palm's ratings. And we'll take that and then we'll put in the, our matchup and those teams respective adjusted offense and defensive values. We'll apply our home court adjustment to get an adjusted offensive defense. And then we will look at the expected win percentage. So this is, if anyone's watched Moneyball, um, kind of the underlining concept here is the Pythagorean expectation. Uh, here's just a Wikipedia page of what that is, but developed by Billy James. And uh, if you've seen Moneyball, you know, just basically looking at what is the expected output of a, of a team on any given night. And so Ken Palms developed that for college basketball. And then we apply that logic and we can get an expected win percentage. Looking at it from the actual points that a, a given matchup will produce, we're going to look at tempo just to see how fast or slow a, a given team plays. And then we will take that and adjust it based on how does that compare to the average tempo for all college basketball. And then we'll get an expected tempo amount. And then we will take that and convert that to our outputs for offense and defense to get an expected output. And then we'll convert that to final point. So all the math's there. So whenever you download the file, you can kind of follow the formulas. They're, they're pretty simple formulas. There's nothing too complicated. The expected win percentage is a little bit complicated. Um, but overall, it's, I think it's pretty intuitive once you, you kind of play around with it a little bit. And I'll have a link in the description to uh, an article that Ken Palm had on his website that I used to kind of to base my model on. So he goes into a lot of detail of how he developed um, some of the ex exponent factor for his Pythagorean calculation, his home court advantage adjustment. He's using 1.4%. And this is back in 2006, so he may have changed some of his logic, but this is what I use as my basis to, to create this. So let's walk through a couple examples just so you can kind of see for yourself, like, does this make sense? Does this align pretty closely to what Kim Palm has? And like I said, I would definitely encourage you to sign up for his website so you have 
full access to every matchup and you're not having to go through this process because it does take a little bit of time. But I think it is helpful just to have a little bit of background knowledge on the the math behind it and just the concept in general. So um, I have Pult put in here. Um, I just looked at his fan matchup and he ranks it by thrill score. So I just looked at the the top thrill score for tomorrow's matchup, 12-17, Nebraska at Kansas State. And he's predicting Kansas State to win 77 to 72 with a 66% win percentage. And it's in Manhattan, so it's at Kansas State. It's not a neutral court. And so I have the, the matchup put in here, and then we can I'll just show you where we get these numbers. So we go to the Kimpom.com and we can go look for Nebraska's offensive defensive adjusted factors. So let's just search for Nebraska. So 114.2 and then 102.2. So I plug those in here, and then we'll do the same for, for Kansas State. 111 and 97.1. So I plug those in, and then we get an expected win percentage of 28.35 and 71.65. I have a summary table up top. So uh, once you plug those in, you can get your your expected win percentage. We compare that to what what Kim Palm had, he had the Kansas State at 66%, so a little bit different, but still pretty close. And then if we look at the tempo value, so we go back here, the tempo for Kansas State was 69.8, so I have that plugged in, and then Nebraska's was 68.7. And you can see we're at 77, 64, and 71.63. So up here at the top, I have the score, 104.9 as our total, and then the spreads plus six and minus six. We compare that to what he has, 77 versus 72. So that's essentially the the output we got there. So that's really close value. So let's let's run through another example. So let's look at maybe this USC at Auburn, and it's at Auburn, Alabama. So it's uh, another one where you'd want to apply the home court advantage. If it was a neutral court, this is where you know his numbers are going to be a lot more reliable. Just because he's going to have some adjustment factor for that neutral court. So like the Kansas City, Missouri, I'm assuming that there's some, probably not a full home court advantage for Missouri since that is a neutral court, but it's definitely closer to to Missouri um, campus versus Seton Hall. So um, just something to think about whenever you're, you're doing this yourself to look at where the location is. Um, make sure it is, if it's a home court, then apply a home court advantage. If not, you could just maybe zero that out. But let's look at this USC at Auburn. So we'll go back here, USC and Auburn. And then let's just clear out these values. So anything in the, the beige is an input. So adjusted offense for USC. So USC right here, 112.3 and 97.7. Then we'll go find Auburn. Top, so 117.1 and 93.8. Okay, so we have 83% chance for Auburn, 16 for USC. And so 80% Auburn, so pretty close. And so we're able to independently create a win percentage based on just a couple numbers. So that's really powerful. And then let's go get a, a score for that game. So Auburn's tempo, just a tempo column, 70.6. 70.6. And then let's go scroll down to the USC one, which was 70.4. So pretty close. And so we're getting 70.5 versus 81. Let's go look at the, the fan match. So 80 versus 71. So again, Really good proxy there with the you know, ten and a half spread essentially. So you could compare that to what sports books are offering to see if that ten and a half spread is a, is a good bet or not. And then you can look at the over under and be looking at anything around that one fifty two range if that's a, a good bet or not. And the money lines you convert these percentages to money line offerings. So I hope you found this helpful. Like I said, the link in the description, one hundred percent free. One to give everyone's my interpretation of the Kim Palm methodology. Um, it's not, like I said, I would highly encourage you to sign up for this, but if you want to use this as a starting point, 
see if the numbers make sense, see if you feel comfortable with how he's calculating his his numbers, then um, I hope you found this tool very helpful. Link in the description. I just asked if you do uh, download it, um, make sure you, you save a copy. I'm going to keep the master as edit only, but you can for sure save down a copy so you can make edits yourself. Uh, please do consider liking and subscribing if you use the tool. Helps me out a lot. And also I'll have a link in the description to my Etsy page where I have a lot of different sports betting uh, models available, expected value models for um, various sports, along with looking at ESPN BPI and converting that to a model as well. So uh, thank you for watching and God bless.